All right, y'all, let's go catch some catfish. Got a bucket full of bluegills. I'm gonna go downstream and find a deep hole. I think there's a deep hole in the channel down here that goes up over 30 foot, if I remember correctly, and I'm gonna try to get around the edge of that and find some structure. Okay, I'm in about 26 feet of water. I've got two real close to the bank, one straight back, and then one, of course, out in the main channel. So I got four lines out right now, and I got one other rod I can rig up if I want to. And I did just see some taps on this one I just put out straight back behind the boat, but uh, nothing's come of that. If I don't get much activity here on the steep side, I'm gonna head on over to the other side of the river. Just had a real good hit on this one rod here, the one going straight back. Right when, it, well, right when that cabin cruiser went by. We'll sit out a little longer if nothing else runs with it. And we'll head straight over to those uh, all those trees on the other bank. It looked a lot better on the depth finder over there as well, so that's where I'm thinking I might do better, especially as it gets dark. Brace for impact. dropped anchor real close to the shore here with these trees laying down in the water and uh, picked up all kinds of cool stuff on the depth finder so hopefully we'll get into some fish here I think that barge going by probably helped stir up quite a bit of bait fish and stuff what are you looking at If anybody's curious about how I'm tying my rigs, I'm not real exact on all of them, but I kind of generally use the same rig on all, on all my rods. This rod here I was using for trolling, it's actually only got 15 pound line, I think. I prefer 20 or 30 pound line because you never know it's down there. This, with this one's got a smaller reel, so I put lighter line on it. It's kind of a multi purpose rod. But I'm going to take this shad wrap off of here and tie up a quick rig here. Alright, so I use anywhere from three to six ounces usually. That's a three ounce flat sinker. You can use no roll slip sinkers. There's different types of flat sinkers that help resist the current in a river. I prefer those over the uh, more round egg sinkers or bank sinkers, but I, I use those too. And I'll use a barrel swivel and uh, tie either a palomar or a trialing knot or both. And the leader is usually a heavier line than the main line. And uh, lately I've been using a snell on the hook just to just to try something different and I like it so far, it hasn't let me down yet. And uh, circle hook here, I like circle hooks and kale hooks. I've been going with the circles here lately but both of them are really good. And uh, live and cut bluegill of course. Of all the cut chunks I would say the heads work the best for sure but between live and cut seems to be about 50 50 with the flatheads like they seem to like both of them pretty good i use about two feet of leader give or take this three ounce sinker is pretty light for the current in here however i will be fishing this one right out here in the shallow in the right right on the drop off where there's not much current Ooh. 
And we're getting some hits on this back rod here. Looks like a flathead. Just some slow tap taps. They let go of it, of course. Something just nailed this rod real quick. Just, a, just real quick. Uh, whatever it was went, took me straight into a log. It's kind of one of the things with fishing up in this kind of cover, but that's where the catfish are. I just recast this line and got a bite within a minute. It feels pretty good. Yeah, he's a decent one. Flathead. Just caught this little flathead right up here up against the bank. Uh, probably right right on the edge of the shallow water. Oh, we got a fish on this one. What the heck? I was reeling up the rod to recast it, and this guy was already on there. Another decent little flathead. Yeah, could be a good eater size, but I've still got some in the freezer, so I'm gonna let him go. You got a blue cat. Caught this one out in the channel. Alright, yo, we got a barge coming up. We're gonna move real tight to the bank, put all our lines up fairly shallow and uh, hope the wake from this barge kicks up some bait fish and get some catfish feeding here. Look at that baby bass. I'm gonna tie up to this right here, but I'm gonna leave enough slack so I'm not right up against the stump. out and we've already got one here on this rod let's grab him we got some bite to him Blue cat, pretty sure. Oh, yeah, it's decent. Oh, yeah. Whoa, a little bigger than I thought. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a flathead. I thought for sure it was a blue cat. He hit quick, he hit hard. Oh, he's got some weight to him. All right, y'all, this flathead came in. He came in at just under 20 pounds, about 19 and three quarters. We'll let him go real quick.
All right, y'all, thanks for coming along with me. Hope you enjoyed. It's about time for me to pull my lines in. My battery's about dead on the camera. It's getting late, I gotta work tomorrow, so uh, stick with me till next time.